That joining me live right now via Zoom is Erie County Executive Mark Polencars. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out to speak with me as well as our viewers this evening. Good evening, Claudine. We know that the lake effect can be two drastically different situations at one time. I heard from someone in Hamburg not too long ago, snow was falling three to five inches an hour. Is that where Erie County crews are concentrating their efforts right now? Uh, yes, it has really hit hard in the central part of the county. When people talk about the South Towns, they think, oh, it's Southern Erie County. Well, Southern Erie County is the ski area. They haven't gotten anywhere near the snow that Central Erie County received, which includes Orchard Park, Hamburg, Lackawanna, Lancaster, Alma, the areas that we just talked about. Uh, it, I was there when we were making delivery of, a, of an employee back home after working 24 hours. Uh, and it was just ridiculous. <laughs> it was falling probably five inches an hour, and our crews were confirming it based on the amount of snow that was falling. Uh, so we've done a very good job of being able to get the North Towns uh, clear. Uh, we are focused, of course, on trying to ensure that every community in Erie County is open by 6 a.m. in the morning tomorrow. That is our goal, uh, and I feel confident as long as the snow doesn't continue to hammer at three to five inches an hour, we will. Very glad to hear, as we were told earlier, that the uh, band, even if it's moving north, is weakening. Uh, that will, of course, give us an opportunity to go into the areas that were hit the hardest and uh, clean up what is a lot of snow. I mean, there's at least two feet that's fallen in some areas, West Seneca included, uh, since uh, basically 11 o'clock this morning. And uh, it came fast and ferocious. Uh, we went from having a, a, a decent storm to something that uh, was much stronger than maybe even we expected based on the predictions. But uh, this is Buffalo, this is Erie County. We get lake effect snow. We knew we were probably gonna get bad one and we did. Yeah, you're uh, right about just, that. Of uh, course, hope we can get through it as quickly as possible. Right. A lot of concern, as you know, about the Bills game being played in Orchard Park, which has been blasted. How confident are you that uh, the snow will be cleared for people to safely get to the game tomorrow that kicks off at 430, although we know they'll be in the lots earlier? Well, the mains will certainly be open. Uh, we feel confident about that. We've heard from the town of Orchard Park and the village of Orchard Park. They feel that they've done a pretty good job of picking up uh, and getting the side streets. Uh, one problem with the with driving to the game tomorrow uh, will not be in all the good the roads. It'll be parking situation at the football stadium. Uh, we expect the major lots to be open, though maybe a few less uh, parking spots than normal because they got to put the snow somewhere. Uh, but also the secondary lots, including a lot of the uh, the household lots where people park on lawns. Uh, that's going to have two to three feet of snow on it, and so that means if you're going to the game tomorrow, a carpool. If you uh, were going to meet up a couple people and you were going to each take separate vehicles, go together. So it just eliminates the need to having additional parking spots available that, that are not going to be there because of the snow totals. Erie County Executive Mark Polencars, thank you for joining us for Channel 2 News at 6. And of course, uh, if there are any other updates this evening, you'll let us know and we will make sure we turn that over to our viewers for them to know as well. Thank you again. You're welcome. Good evening. Take care.